in our home. It's not that bad. Most of the songs on here are just fine. And what about the others? This CD is tame compared to what else is out there. McKay, you know who you are. What I know is, the guys on the team think I'm some kind of freak. McKay! I go to church every Sunday. I go to seminary every day. I don't think one CD's gonna kill me. What? I don't have time for catch today. I'm busy. I was wondering if you could help me with this. I got too much homework. What, do you have to give a talk or something? Primary class assignment? Family home evening lesson? Then what? Have you ever heard someone say we should liken the scriptures unto us? I mean like 1 Nephi 19.23. It's a scripture? Cool. What's cool about that? Look, what do you need help on? I'm kind of in a hurry. Well, I was reading about Ammon. I had the guards caught him and took him before the king. And what's the problem? Well, and then back here... The guards got Ammon and took him before the king. They got him twice? Different Ammon. This Ammon back here was captured by King Limhi. This Ammon up here was captured by King Lamoni. King Lamoni, you know, the king with the flocks, sent the servants out to water them. Bad guys came, scared the flocks away. Ammon fought him, arms went flying. The king thought he was a great spirit. A lot of people fell down. It's a stink of their destiny. Avery spreads the news. What is that? What is what? The face. It helps me make it real. Yeah, well, it's weirding me out. Stop it. <laughs> uh, Spencer, how about if I slow things down a bit? Where were we? Someone named Dave. Abish. Right. Abish is cool. Here she is in a land of non-believers. You got murderers, thieves, and some pretty bad dudes. And her father has this really cool vision, and she becomes converted. But if anybody finds out, she's toast. So she keeps it a secret all these years, even when she gets a job in King Lamoni's palace as one of the queen's servants. Push their p 
people against the wall But I just do what's necessary To keep the peace from day to day It's so hard, this load I carry But I'm sure it's always been this way Why did the Nephite cross the road? Why? Who cares? <laughs> There's nothing we would rather do than put those Nephites in their place. If you ask me, there's nothing to them. And yet I still enjoy the chase. Yeah. You'll regret this <laughs> next to never. What if there's a judgment day? At least we'll all go down together. After all, it's always been this way. If it was wrong, we would have heard it. The records all got thrown away. As far as we know, they deserve it. Yeah. And besides, it's always been this way. didn't know was that out there in the wilderness, a great missionary was heading toward King Lamoni's kingdom. Ammon? Exactly. Ammon. A Nephite who had once done some pretty bad things himself, but then had an amazing conversion of his own. Now, we find him dangerously deep in Lamanite territory on his mission. There was a time when I was blind But thy mercy helped me find my way And as I seek, please help me, Lord, to find Ears to listen to the words I say A mighty change of heart has brought me here today And if I play my part I'll know just what to say So I will open up my mouth And start to bring to pass A mighty change of I'll give all the strength in me I'll give service everywhere I go I may not know how long the road will be But I'll follow till I'm summoned home A mighty change of heart can start with me Today. And if I play my part, I'll know just what to say. So I will give my mind and hands to start to bring to pass a mighty change of heart. And if they make the choice to listen to my voice, Always then rejoice with them, I know. And every soul I bring to know my Lord and King will cause my heart to sing evermore. A mighty change of heart will start with me today. I will give my mind and hands to start to bring to pass a mighty change of heart. 
so the guards took Ammon before the king. Uh-oh. No, it's okay. You mean King Lamoni doesn't kill him? Not only does he not kill Ammon, he's so impressed with him that he even offers Ammon one of his daughters as a wife. But Ammon says that he only desires to be one of the king's servants. The king accepts. Three days later, something kind of interesting happens. Servants, make your ranks! Guards, keep them in line! I have a special job for you, so you can prove your mind! Every day I send my sheep to drink up from the lake. And every day my servants always make a slight mistake. They go out with so many sheep, but then come back with less. I cannot lose my sheep this time, so I will send my best. Who will honor me to the death? Who will rise to meet the test? Who will serve me with the faithfulness and valor I expect? Uh, I knew that I could count on you. You could learn a lot from these men. To the sheep! Oh, and when you're done, prepare my horses, hmm? We are dead. Soon we will be dead. What? Didn't you hear what he said? Soon we will be dead. The king, he always sends a crew of servants with the sheep. And every time they lose a few, and they're in trouble deep. Some people in our town don't like to work hard every day. So they think that it's all right to steal some sheep away. When the servants come back home to see Lamoni's face, he counts up all the sheep he had and gets a bit disgraced. It's happened more than once that he's been mad enough to kill the servants he sent out with sheep who did not do his will. So we are dead. Soon we will be dead. I always liked my head, <laughs> but soon we will be dead. Costume, but if you ask me, he has no room to talk because it's quite evident that he's lip syncing all of his lines. Oh, when King Lamon I sent us out today, he came back with missing flocks, he'd send us to our grave. So many of our fellow servants met the end this way, so off we went, just hoping that somehow the flocks would stay. But just as we arrived at Sebus, we knew we were done. <laughs> A band of Lamanites were there to have some fun And so they went about just scaring all our flocks away But Ammon helped us get them back So we would get to say that We're alive Don't you know that we're alive? I like that Ammon guy Because we're alive So there we were just standing flocking Fearing for our lives 
again we were surrounded by those scary guys And just when we were sure that we would soon meet our demise Hammond stood forth daringly, a twinkle in his eyes You guys go and get the sheep, he said to our dismay I'll stay here and deal with them, just stay out of the way No one likes a servant who does not simply obey So he stood back and watched as he began the whole melee This is my favorite part, moron! We've been over this, it's moron punch <clears throat> Punchy! Hammond started slinging stones and made six bad guys fall Guys, on the other hand, could not hit him at all. When they discovered they could not hit Ammon with their stones, they started charging with their clubs, but Ammon held his own. Threw his sword, but only slew the leader of the band. And all the rest who did not run received their reprimand. For every man who raised his club was soon a bit alarmed. For in one stroke of Ammon's sword, they found themselves disarmed. But we're alive, don't you know that we're alive? They cannot hand jive, but we're alive. There has never been a greater servant to the king. Believe a man could do all of these things And since we know this story is a bit hard to receive We have brought you proof so we could help you to believe I ain't got no money But we do thanks to that amazing Ammon guy We're alive, don't you know that we're alive? You know I didn't really want to die After hearing all that Ammon had done, King Lamoni was worried. He thought Ammon might be the great spirit sent down to punish him for all the things he'd done wrong. Great King Lamoni, you, you look troubled. I've never seen you look so grim. Where's Ammon now? Preparing horses. Of course, that's what I asked of him. I've done a lot of awful things that have never seemed that bad to me. But looking back on all those things I Hurt those people serving me. It's not enough for me to say that I'm not as bad as other men. There is so much I must repay that I do not know where to begin. But I know that I must change And I must choose the better way I can be my own best every day But I know
to bring to but pass I know a mighty change of heart. King Lamoni was so afraid of Ammon that he didn't know what to say. So, he didn't speak a word for an An hour? That's a long time. Sure is. Can we skip this part? <laughs> Good idea. So Ammon feels the Spirit prompt him to teach the King the Gospel. And he teaches him everything. From the creation, to the scriptures, to the plan of redemption. And does the king believe? So much so. And when he does, all of a sudden, he... Is he dead? Nope. But everybody thinks he is. In fact, when he hasn't moved for a couple of days, the people decide it's time to bury him. But the queen pleads with Ammon to go to the king and raise him up. And the next day, right when Ammon said he would, the king rises up and tells the queen of the wonderful vision he had and becomes so overpowered by the spirit that he... <laughs> the queen sees this and is overpowered by the spirit too. And she crashes to the ground. And she crashes to the ground. Oh. Ammon sees all this and is so grateful that the spirit's being poured out that he... <laughs> There's more. Then the servants come in and see the three of them fall into the ground and they start to pray. And they become overpowered by the spirit too, until they... So all the servants fall to the ground, except one. Abish? Abish. Searching 
So Abish goes from house to house, telling all the people to come see what's happened. And did the people come? The people did come. And did the people believe? And not even close. Some of them say that a great evil is coming to the land because a Nephite was allowed to stay. Others say the king has brought this evil upon them because of how badly he treated his servants. There's that knee fight. It's even worse than Abish said. This evil knee fight killed our people. But what if they're not really dead? Of course they're dead. Have no eyes. What? And one guy who was really mad because Ammon slew his brother as he was trying to steal the king's flocks decided this was his big chance to get even. So he walks up to Ammon, draws his sword, and just as he's about to slay Ammon... So, he's having a vision too? <laughs> nope. He's toast. So now the people believe? Well, here's where it starts to get really interesting. Why should we listen to this woman? How do you know it isn't true? This isn't what I hoped would happen. Is there not something I can do? Blessed Jesus, who has saved me from that awful hell. Oh, blessed God, have mercy on this people. Thank you for 
sharing of your light with me. Thank you, for now I know what I can be. I would have never known to find this joy alone. So thank you for what you've given me. A mighty change of heart has brought me here today. And I will play my part and know just what to say. I will open up my mouth and start to bring to pass a mighty change of heart. This light that's inside me will brighten your lives if you'll just be willing to open your eyes. There's no point in staying in the dark of the night for God tells me now it's time to share this light. King Lamoni began to teach his people the gospel. Many refused to hear his words and went their way. But there were others who listened with their hearts and believed. And they did all declare unto the people the self same thing that their hearts had been changed. That their hearts had been changed, that they had no more desire to do evil. Cool. Yeah, pretty cool. You up for some catch? Really? I'll move in my 
glove. Score? Swish. You ready? Yep. Let's do it.
Yeah.